You know, I was just looking for the notes for this video, and it's taking on an amazing sports theme. Well, yes and no. Macon is the home of famous international poet Sidney Lanier. I know this may not come as a surprise to you, but I'm a movie credit freak. I know, you're saying, who is Sidney Lanier? I do. I stay till the end of the movie and watch every credit that goes by. Well, he's that famous poet from Macon. Credits to movies are getting so much longer and longer. The reason why is because of CGI. There's so many artists that work on special effects these days. He is a famous poet and he wrote... Poems! Have you heard the story about the girl who's having her sex tested because she won a race? He's so famous he had a high school named after him. Sidney Lanier High School. Castor Semenya came from behind out of nowhere to win the world championship gold in the 800 meter by I think it was 156.72. And the football team was named the Lanier Poets. One of my favorites was in the latest Harry Potter movie, there's an underwater clapper. Poets. They named a high school team the Poets? A guy was given credit for being the underwater clapper. You know, with a clapper, you know. And because she, quote, came out of nowhere, they want to test her sex. Are you a poet? Are you a poet? Can I see you over here for a minute? There are some terms that you may want to know. Like, for instance, what is a grip? A grip is like a lighting or rig technician. It's real simple. You just say to her, are your fingernails too long? If she does this, she's a woman. If she does this, she's a guy. A best boy is like an assistant to a, a grip or a gaffer. Today, day, 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 the Sydney Lanier, Nair, Nair, Poets, 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 Poets. We'll be playing, playing, playing. The Fitzgerald, Harold, Harold, fighting lambs, 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 lambs. I don't know how you feel about it, but one good shower is all it's going to take. I mean, if you put a guy in a girl's locker room, you just stand outside and listen for the screams and you've got your answer. A gaffer is like the head electrician on a movie. Actually, it could get kind of entertaining. When you go to a poet's game, all of the plays rhymed with the words Nantucket. I know this is weird, but in radio, I did some television commercials that involved some grips and best boys and gaffers and M&Ms. I requested the M&Ms. Until the tests come back, how does she know what bathroom to use? And believe me, I'm not an easy person to work with on a television commercial. I sweat worse than James Brown on his third verse of hot pants. Hey! Hot pants! I sure hope those tests come back so I'll know which room to use. My friend said we never really thought much about the name Poets until one night during a critical play he was hitting the dangling participles. Mm -hmm. 